with John and the Big Ten staff and uh, make any adjustments or try to make any adjustments that are necessary at that point in time. So, Adjustments in what sense? Game adjustments? I mean, in, in the sense that the game could move? Or? Depending on what time they get here. Yes. Okay, okay. Yes. How, what were the alternatives? I mean, what, what, did you have multiple options on the table here to try to get them here, or was this just really one shot, you know, get a plane or don't get a plane? The Big Ten was very open to, you know, discussing. Again, everybody was focused on the safety and health, and uh, based on the time uh, that we could get them here, uh, make any adjustments necessary at that point in time. But, but right now, uh, the focus is seeing. I want to see them. I'm happy that they're landed safely. And, uh, on their way, and uh, then we'll have conversations with the conference office at that point in time. What's the latest you know about their ETA or whatever? Should be in the next 10 to 15 minutes, is my understanding. Has John given you a window of we don't want to play if we get here no, within we, there we haven't sometime? Talked about any of those extensive details at this point in time. Is there any talk of not coming after what happened yesterday in terms no. of players not wanting to no. come or anything like that? No. Once we assess that everybody was uh, healthy, a few bumps and bruises. Um, you know, there was no uh, conversation about that amongst the team uh, or the coaches. I think, you know, we don't experience this. This is not something that shakes everybody to the core, right? Um, as uh, you can expect, uh, but we deal with, I think this is now our third game where we've been delayed to the next day. Uh, the other games are played later in the evening, uh, so that's a difference. Uh, but right now, um, you know, they, they, there's no, there was no conversation about not playing. How were you guys able to secure a plane? Like, how was that process actually play out? A lot of conversations um, and a lot of great people helping. I appreciate what Delta uh, did uh, to help get the team here and make the adjustments. Uh, they've been a great partner with us over the years. Um, they really just stepped up to uh, find a plane as quickly as they could. Did you have to have the players talk to anybody even that getting back on a plane today is not probably well, yeah, not the easiest thing did. in the world? No, no. We had our counseling staff that were there. Um, counseling staff also reached out to the band and cheer. Um, you know, we. It, this is not, you know, not trying to make a, a news clip. We care deeply about what these kids are going through and our staff. Uh, and uh, so it was important to do that. Uh, we do have a couple of people, mainly staff, who decided not to come uh, because they were shaken up, and we offered that same thing uh, to our student athletes. Uh, if they did not want to get on a plane and come to the game, we would have honored uh, their request uh, not, to, uh, not to participate uh, and worked with them on that. We will continue to monitor we just um, uh, want to make sure that everything is uh, good with them. Um, games are, are something we do, uh, but it's not life. Uh, and so we, we're going to make the decisions and support our uh, staff and students who uh, need the support.